It's a head. head. <laughs> Uh, I thought I heard you say you're going to have a bowl. What's uh, the reason behind that? Uh, just the overhead conditions and uh, chasing on a small ground. At night it gets a little bit dewy and skids on a little bit. So um, you know, hopefully we can utilise a new ball. All right, no Daniel Vittori, but uh, of the 15, what are the other three to miss out? Um, so Woodcock misses out in, in the 12, and uh, we're resting uh, Tim Southey and, and Kane Williamson uh, for this match. So it gives Jacob Orham and, um, and Kyle Mills a, a, another go, and, and obviously Jesse up the top as well. Well, Shahid, look, uh, looks like you're going to bat first out here. Any major problems with that? Uh, no, the pitch is uh, quite good, uh, but because of the overcast condition, maybe uh, bowling first is a good idea, but I think it's, it will be not a, really a big difference. Made any changes to your team? Uh, just one change, Shoaib uh, Akhtar is back and uh, Swell we will give him a rest. So that's just rest, that's a bit like the New Zealanders rotation? Yeah, <laughs> just one change, not three or four changes, just one. <laughs> Welcome to our coverage here, Seton Park in Hamilton. There's a bit of cloud hanging around, and it should be a reasonable day for the bowlers. But I mean, Shazad will have something to say about that, I am sure, along with Mohamed Hafiz. New Zealand winning the toss, selecting to bowl first. He generally has had the better of uh, Pakistan, but he's been sidelined primarily because of that last dodgy spell that he bowled in the last game. Good start, a maiden over for Kyle Mills. He's done with that loss. Let's see how he goes today. Emma Shazad was in a terrific form. Hit some lovely shots in his, uh, in his innings in the last game. Got 40 odd. That's a good length, but it doesn't carry. Straight away, Hamish Bennett finds a nice length. Going to him on the bounce, just not carrying. Appears to be a slow pitch, and he was uh, way behind the keeper there. He's got to come a few yards. I think he's done that now, but a little too late. Very nicely bowled again, but it's a good shot. Really good shot. And that will race away. This outfield's superb. It's quick, that's for sure. Nicely played again. And New Zealand bat, I mean, Kyle Mills can play. And he's registered to come in at number 10 in the order. And you'd imagine if Vittori was fit. Possibly Jamie Howe might drop out if they, if they wanted to strengthen the bowling and, and perhaps weaken the batting a touch. It's a, it's a pretty good dilemma to have. Yeah, but you've got to be careful also that you don't fill in the uh, the ranks with a lot of all-rounders you've got to have specialists also planted in there the balance has got to be right beautifully driven really nice shot that oh, it's good movement there from Kyle Mills he won't show it I'm at a fees but uh, it will have hurt a little Kyle Mills two overs two maidens that is a classic spread. Got in the right areas all the time, well mostly all the time. That one came back and hit him on uh, the belly. Well this is the delivery that Kyle Mills holds cross seam almost and runs his fingers over it like an off cutter. He doesn't hold it seam up. He holds it cross seam, rolls his fingers across it. We see him bowl it a lot to left handers. Have a look at this. See so rolls it across his Rolls the fingers down the right hand side, holds it across seam. If it grips, it takes off, and that would have hurt. Sometimes in the subcontinent, you get those sticky wickets too early in the morning. 9.30 in the morning, you start the games. We have a problem with the ball here. At the moment, it's out of shape. Just bowl another one and get it hit again. It might go back into shape. Should be fine. It's a couple of very nice drives down the ground. One on the onside, one on the offside. Clipped away, and that might be four as well. This outfield is very quick. No, got to get around to it. Just cuts it to two. He's got a very powerful bowling action, so at times he loses it because he wants to put in so much of effort. Oh, that's nicely played through the gap, and that'll race away for four. So a little bit of width and put away nicely by Mohamed Hafiz. Well, that was another glorious drive from Hafiz. This time, square cutting the ball of the front foot really was stylishly done. He's looking good. Confident start from him. 
Have a look at this one. A little bit of width and slicing it. <laughs> uh, I think predictably a little bit short. And uh, feeds very quickly onto the back foot. It'll just be two. Martin Guptill coming around. Cuts it. And these two seems to be settling down into their uh, areas of strength. Amateurs are promoted up the order and now becoming a very good and integral part of this unit. Uriel should be out taken. Nathan McCullum picks up the catch. Cole Mills the wicket. And Hafiz has gone in the air and paid the price. Oh, just as we were praising them. Looks to be in good rhythm and maintaining pressure on Pakistan and in the end Hafiz caved in to that pressure. Played uppishly and straightforward catch for Nathan McCallum. Trying to hit it on the top and uh, straight away knew that he was in big problem. Soft dismissal in the end. It's been a terrific spell so far from Mills. You heard the call. And it's a correct call. What interests me though, Macca, was uh, that Tim Southey left out. New Zealand had a motivation here to win the toss and bowl first because, as Ross Taylor said at the toss, that uh, it looked like the ball would swing. Well, Tim Southey is their main swing bowler, is he not? Four. Wow, that's not bad. Oh, as quick as he is, Nathan McCullum at mid-off had no chance. And then this lad here, Shazad, hits the ball. It stays hit. Look at the swing of the bat. The position where Nathan McCullum's fielding, which is bottom left of screen at mid-off, used to be occupied by your worst fielder. Remember once or twice, Rigger, you fielding at mid-off. It's sort of the position used to try and hide players but now you put your best fielder there because the ball goes there so often so that's why Nathan McCullum's there you'd be down at fine leg wow look at that he'd had enough all right and that might have gone all the way but it's just short and ask him to do it in the air and in the gap oh it was close to the trap though that's living dangerously Not far away from Jesse Ryder. New Zealand bowling well to the game plan for Cameron Akmal. He's gone in the air, no control. And it wasn't far away from Jesse Ryder at backward point. He's one of the main bowlers. Whether he could actually bowl another two. Yep. He's missed his line there, he's been picked off. No cover back there because fine leg was up in the ring, so four runs. This is fine, this is fine, and because of that, third man can't get round, that's Mills, and that's a welcome boundary for Pakistan. You want one of your top four to get you a score of 75 plus, which sets up the platform for the middle order, lower order to come in and play freely. 500's a pretty good record. So once he does get in, he can go on and get that big hundred. Go on. Good stroke, really good square drive, a shot of high class that brings up the 50 for Pakistan. Well, the over from Oram started with the boundary and it finished with the boundary. Hard and straight and through. So that'll be four more. And uh, a welcome boundary for Cameron Akmal. Just too full from Hamish Bennett. Previous balls have been hit to Nathan McCullum at mid-off and he couldn't get across.